Hello NoobTubers, and today I will be releasing my first Pirate 101 video. It is not the first one that I've recorded, I've recorded like three more, but they're not the best. And I also didn't know exactly what I wanted to talk about, so I'm going to be talking about the Privateer, as you can see on my screen. Probably one of the more confusing characters ever so slightly, like over here we have the Musketeer, pretty straightforward, you know, shooty shooty, shoot stuff, you know, pretty fun to play with. We have the Buccaneer over here, your classic pirate. We have the Witch Doctor over here, you know, they cast spells, do magic stuff, and can be quite deadly. And then we have the Swashbuckler over here, you know, they have, um, stabby weapons and sneak very sneaky, pretty dodgy, add, you know, good agility and whatnot. But then we get over here to the Privateer, whose attacks can range from anything like a staffy attack to a slashy weapon attack, hence the sword. I'm having, I'm using a combo where I have staffy and slashy, so that actually helps a lot because for whatever reason, these people have a ton of willpower. They also have a decent spell power base as well, which they, excuse me, which they need. I'll just go ahead and say it. These characters right here pair up very nicely with the Witch Doctor, and especially um, Old Scratch. So anyone that can boost your mojo, you need to have them whenever you play as the Privateer. One of the interesting things about playing with the Privateer is whenever you have your three companions with you in battle and it's you, you're pretty much only fighting the enemies, like specifically one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like, you know, swords crossing. Pretty much only three of your companions are in use. And if you have Old Scratch with you, um, you're pretty much just dropping um, bombs on the enemy. Um, giving your team a boost, and fighting mainly with your two other companions. So the whole fighting dynamic really changes whenever you play with a privateer. Because privateers are not... They have great health, so they can be front of the line, but by front of the line, they're mostly there to lead and to be closer to the enemy so that they can work their magic. I'm going to go to my spell powers so that you can see what all I have. Okay, now Mojo Blade is not something that you get, although if you do get a like a, a ring or some kind of amulet that allows you to have a Mojo Blade, I definitely suggest it. Because once you Mojo up, this blade, it like right now that's the base power 539 damage, which is pretty deadly. Um, even, you know, an enemy with a thousand health, you can at least take half of it away. Two thousand health, you can take a, a quarter of it away. But whenever it's mojoed up, and if you happen to do a special hit at the same time, well, this thing can do over a thousand damage. So you could very well wipe your enemy out in one hit. Anyways, that's enough. Let me see. You have plenty of healing powers also. Um, don't sneak attack, ignore. Mojo blade, ignore. Chicken power, sorry, it's Juju, ignore that as well. Lightning strike, ignore, but these are mine, the big guns, artillery. Back here I have just gunnery. These are, these is, are what Mojo is for. So whenever you Mojo yourself up a lot, these gunnery powers are very deadly. Like just as is without using scratch to boost your powers or spells, whatever you want to call them, they're pretty useless. Like, this ain't going to do anything. I mean, if you're fighting an enemy with over 2,000 health, or up to 3,000 health, guess what? This ain't doing a thing to them. It, it's really, it's useless. Might as well not even drop it at that point. This is one of my powers, Fighting Favor, so I can give everyone... Oh, and by the way, if you do use Mojo, this plus 19 will probably go up. It has a, has a little bonus right there, so... This is mine, so another healing power, more healing powers. Seriously, these guys have a lot of healing powers. I'm counting one, two, and three, four, five. Five healing powers, guys. Hoodoo Touch is not something that's native to my character. I simply have it. 
Leviathan's Call. I think this is... I'm not sure if this is mine or not. This may actually be from the Buccaneer's Den. But anyways, you have a lot of powers to boost stuff. And so whenever you're fighting with this character or more like lack thereof, you're pretty much helping your team out. Like these characters are captains. They are true captains. That's what they are. Yeah, you can see, you know, will. We have a lot of willpower, which boosts spooky and staffy attacks. I don't have, well, I have a staff that does spooky attacks, I guess. And then I also have, sorry, I have to go back over to my powers. I also have, okay, slashy weapons, one, two, and three. So slashy weapons are clearly meant to be used by privateers. But I also have a staffy weapon, which will helps. Will doesn't do a thing if you're using something slashy, which is unfortunate. So that's why I'm using a combo. Now, strength helps with slashy weapons, and I do have a decent amount of strength. Agility is not something that I use whatsoever. It's I don't really need it, but oh well, I have a little bit of agility. I literally just have my base agility. My spell power is pretty good. I can go to my companions, and maybe I can see their spell power. Not too good. Pretty good. 196. 166, 203, well that guy's a witch doctor. But yeah, privateers are going to generally have decent spell power just because of how they fight. The privateer's main weapon is, is not the weapon he's holding. This is, by the way, the best weapon that I can get for my class. Really good, wearing great clothing, but the best weapon that they have are actually their powers. If you look at most pirate characters, they don't really fight with their powers. Like, they may have a healing power. They may have, if you're a buccaneer, you may have something like this. So, like, you can boost your team. But you're fighting mainly with the weapon that you are holding in your hand. This is what you're fighting with. You're fighting with your sword. You're up there at the front. And because you have a lot of good um, talents, you know, you can strike back at the enemy. You can have relentless and stuff. Well, I don't really have any of that. Like, I have staffy weapons, I have cheap shots, so if someone tries to walk away from me, I'll hit them. Witch Hunter, someone uses magic next to me. Um, make a bonus magic attack when, you, when an enemy moves into range. See, here's the thing, I'm not really using a staff that has a ranged attack, so that's pretty much useless. And I have repel borders. Not very much. So pretty much if someone walks up to me or walks away, I can hit them. And I use that very loosely because I'm not going to do much damage to them, so it's pretty much useless. Although I do have pretty good elusiveness, which is nice. But overall, playing with this character, it's... Your team is doing the bulk of the actual fighting in the front lines while you're behind, literally boosting everyone. Whenever you play with other people... It's the exact same. And I will say, I lost very few battles playing as the privateer while making my team do all the heavy lifting. Because I'm right behind them, like their cheerleader. If they need healing, I heal them. If they need a boost in dodginess so that an enemy doesn't hit them in the first place, I can give that to them. And I actually have a newer power. Um, yeah, why I can make an enemy take 25% damage for one turn. Meaning that I can, there's actually a bonus one to this, it's 50%, you know, which I'll have eventually. So whenever I do that to an enemy, um, any, um, like, say they do a 300 damage hit, it's going to do 600 damage. So, sorry, not, no, that's 100%, never mind, it's, <laughs> it's not going to do that much damage, my apologies. It's going to do 450. I can do math, by the way. This is my newer one, right here. This um, will boost their armor, which is pretty nice. Although, I suggest using dodginess. Like, don't do this right off the bat, because it only it's only good for three turns. Do this one. It's, this is the same power that El Toro has, so use that. I'm not sure if I really want that one so high. There we go. So, I suggest using this one for five, right here. Don't bother, you know, using Scratch whenever you do it. It's not going to do any good. There's no mega, there, there's no mega um, bonus dodge and 
in accuracy. So do this, and whenever you can do this, and all the while Scratch is boosting your mojo, so then you hit them with the big guns, and hopefully you'll add some fire under them, and then you're going to hit them with just artillery, and very low chance of this power ever popping up in battle, you know, unless you're fighting a boss or something, you have the other gunnery to use, but by by the time you ever get to it, your mojo is going to be gone. So that's why Scratch is so important. In fact, I'll go to my companions right here. Okay. See, he has mojo basically like the like the best, medium, pretty good. He can spawn in a pirate, heal himself, but those aren't useful. These powers are really useful, especially for other witch doctors as well. So the privateer pairs very well with a witch doctor because a witch doctor can hopefully boost their mojo and because witch doctors boost their own will and stuff and have powers like that it also goes for you as well because you also need your will boosted and stuff because they have a lot of will so that's why i suggest using a staffy weapon that's why i essentially look like a witch doctor a privateer is basically a witch doctor with a sword and kind of their own thing. Like a lot of the roles in this game, we can pretty much logically think through like, you know, Witch Doctor, you know, they're spooky and stuff. They have cool powers, you know, they're magical. They can do stuff that, you know, like go all the way to the other side of, a, of the battlefield. That is one of their powers. You know, they can teleport anywhere, hit you with some pretty powerful stuff. But then you have the privateer who also uses will, who also needs to be spooky, but they're not a witch doctor whatsoever, um, nor do they fight like one. They can not They can use a wand, so like a wand is effective in my hands, but also so is a sword. These, This is truly a very unique character to play with, and uh, I mean it, they, they're very unique to play with, and the play style may not be for everybody. I'm just saying whenever you do play with one of these characters, you are not going to be in the front lines, um, I don't know, killing clockworks. That's not really your jam. Your jam is use, using old scratch to boost your mojo, all the while just dropping bombs onto the enemy. Also, if I go to my powers, you can see that I also have Mojo Strike, which I got from the Witch Doctor, which also helps. So I basically have one, two, three, and then four different actual strike powers for and i guess if you want to consider this and the the shield one you know this this will allow me to go all over the board basically so if i'm not using a sword these are useless in fact i may untrain them from me and take back the practice points so that i can do something else i'm, I'm really thinking about that oh also this boosts um critical hit very neat i know i basically gave you all a rundown of all the powers and stuff that this guy um has but if you're considering ever becoming, can I look at myself? But yeah, if you're ever considering becoming one of these guys, I just want you to know, you know, what all they have, what they do, how they fight, <clears throat> excuse me, what companions they fight well with, who they play well with, because it, it can be a hard decision. Now, of course, you can have all the characters, but I don't want you to get this character and have fun with it, and then later on in the game, you're like, oh, this guy sucks, I hate it. Look, I'm already at level 60 with this guy. Literally level 60, I'll show you. Yep, exactly right here where my course, my course is, right here, 60. So I only have 10 levels to go, and filthy rich, plenty of script from just bombing ships and stuff. I have decent powers, I have a, a pretty decent attack for my level, you know, great spell power, very dodgy actually, it's pretty hard to hit me, you know, I have decent armor I guess, you know, plenty of crowns too. So this is what you get with the privateer. And also these are some of my companions, <clears throat> excuse me, Emmett right here, um, he can <clears throat> slow enemy movement. So by 50%, so this is great to use if you don't want all the enemies funneling in at you at once. But this guy is in fact a privateer. Let's go to another privateer. Um, Gracie Conrad. She's a privateer. And privateers are very, very fun players. Very fun characters to play with indeed. Huh. Why am I yawning? I'm not even tired. 
C boosts will. They use a lot of will. So any any um witch doctor that's playing with you is gonna love you. Oh wow, they can remove all effects in an area. That's pretty nice. Attack, you know. Let me see, where's another privateer? That guy's not a privateer. Let me see. This guy's a privateer, you know. Jim Masterson. I need a I need to upgrade him seriously. This guy's a privateer. So you have plenty of characters that are privateers that are pretty cool, especially Emmett and Grace Conrad. In fact, Gracie Conrad, excuse me. She's the one that you get whenever you come to Marley Bone and start doing stuff with the War Golems. Very cool character. I, mean, I don't know if everyone gets her, but if you have her, she's definitely a good character. Um, use her wisely and everything. Her Golem is great combined with Scratch's skeleton if you're a witch doctor on this game and you have your own skeleton. Yeah, you basically just created like a small army, which I've done many times on this game with other players. Very fun. But as you can see, I'm not a witch doctor, I'm a privateer. So I do not have the skeleton power unless I get a pet that grants it to me or an article of clothing of some sort. So of all the characters I've played with, this isn't my favorite. I actually really like the Witch Doctor. Yeah, I know. I, I really like them. I just like the way they play. Pretty spooky characters. But this character is definitely, definitely pushing for second or very, very close to second, third, you know, tied with my Musketeer. I like them. Great characters. They're a real asset to have in battle. So if you're level 70 or 60 and you're playing with a Privateer, you're almost certainly going to win because these guys have aces up their sleeve like crazy. I mean, they have so many aces, they can help you out a lot. So in conclusion, if you do decide to go with the privateer, leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I doubt you watched it all the way through. You probably skipped around until the, the outro of the video, but oh well. Thank you for watching, God bless you, and I hope you have fun playing Pirates 101. I'll leave a link to the site in the description so you can get to it without, I guess, going to a spam site, although it's pretty straightforward, Pirate 101, you know, you'll get to it. Oh well, people like leaving links, so something YouTubers do, so I'll do it as well. Goodbye. NoobTube out.